This video shows ways of designing online, blended and face-to-face -face activities based on the principles of Bloom's taxonomy. Let's compare different types of delivery. Online. Blended. Or face-to-face. -face. To different types of journeys. For example, let's plan our journey from London to Manchester. We could take the train to Manchester. We could fly to Manchester. Or we could go by car. Any of those transport methods can take us from A to B. What makes a difference is what happens during those journeys. We can apply a similar analogy when comparing different types of learning deliveries. For example, we would like our learners to be able to identify different groups of plants. That learning activity can in principle be delivered effectively using any kind of learning method, online, blended or face-to-face. -face. What really makes a difference is what activities we use in the delivery. So, how do we know what activities are best suited to a specific type of learning journey, online, blended or face-to-face? -face? Here is when Bloom's taxonomy of learning domains will help us guiding our learning design process. Bloom's identifies three different domains, the psychomotor, the cognitive and the affective domains. A revised version of the cognitive domain identifies four different levels. How well you understand a particular topic will depend on where you're within the cognitive domain. A learner engaging in a new topic will start by memorizing factual information, after that the learner will be able to differentiate between different pieces of information. And as he or she moves along the cognitive domain the learner will be able to explain the topics learned, gaining the highest level of understanding when the learner is able to produce something new with that information. That might be new concepts, new ways of contextualizing the information or it could be a new tangible artifact of product. The effective domain is associated with people's beliefs and attitudes. If we would like our learners to be able to demonstrate awareness of for example diversity or inequality, we're targeting the effective domain. The psychomotor domain is associated with psychomotor skills. The learning process involved in achieving manual skills, such as surgical skills or clinical skills. So, how can Bloom's learning domains help us design our learning journeys? Bloom's associated different action verbs within each domain to describe learning outcomes and this is what represents the beginning of our learning journey. If we are able to identify specific learning outcomes by using measurable verbs, we will know exactly what we would like the learners to be able to do by the end of the learning activity. So, here are some verbs associated with each of the areas of the cognitive domain. If we want our learners to be able to recall or identify specific facts we know we are targeting the low end of the cognitive domain. If we want our learners to be able to explain or discuss specific topics, we know we're targeting the conceptual level. So, now we know about the learning domains and how we can associate different verbs to different levels, let's review the types of activities that lend themselves to different types of domains. For activities targeting the low end of the cognitive domain, factual and procedural information, you can design self-directed learning activities that trigger factual recall. For activities targeting the high end of the cognitive domain, conceptual and metacognitive, you can design learning activities that encourage discussion, collaboration and reflection. These activities can be delivered online, blended or face-to-face. -face. Now. For the effective domain, you can also design activities that encourage collaboration, discussion and reflection. These activities can be role-playing activities, problem-based or scenario-based activities. For activities targeting psychomotor skills, you can design online activities to present and practice procedural information. However, this is the domain that would always require face-to-face -face practice. This is the end of this presentation. In this short video we discussed Bloom's taxonomy of learning domains. We identified measurable verbs that can be used within different learning domains. And finally, we identified learning activities that can be designed to fit different learning domains.